not ever seen that. I don't know. I don't know. Really weird. We're going to look into it and maybe the, bring you some more information on that. Confusing. I'm going to post that on my Facebook page and just find out what I can find out. What for is you, going on? Because we're all very confused. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, let's talk weather. It is West. raining outside, thunder, yeah. lightning. We got it all. We got it all this morning. Let's show you what it looks like outside this morning on your Viper 40 dual Doppler. We are seeing showers and storms moving across the area. They're pushing up to the north, though. We had a little bit of a noisy one come through Tulsa about an hour ago. May have woken you up a little bit earlier than you were first expecting. But now that is broken up a bit, kind of pushing north, pushing to the east there. We do have more rain on the way, though, so it's not like we're quite done with it yet, uh, for today at least. As you take a look outside from Ramona to through Ulaga, down just northeast now of Owasso, Catoosa, Claremore. These are the areas that are still seeing some heavy rainfall and the lightning and thunder. And then a little bit farther south near Porter and Muskogee and Taft, through all areas still getting a little bit of that moderate to heavy rain. Tulsa, it's lightening up. We have mostly cloudy skies, wet roads though. So as you head out this morning, uh, take it slow on the roadways because you are going to be dealing with some um, pooling, uh, uh, ponding water there on parts of the roads. And then just a little bit to our west, we are seeing another round of some showers that are expected to move in. None of the severe, but again, it is bringing in some heavy rainfall at times and some lightning and thunder. Now towards the Tulsa airport, it is definitely a wet start out there. You can see that there on the uh, on the uh, ground. As we look out towards the Wasso, those showers and storms pushing up to the northeast. That's that lightning that you're seeing there in the distance as we look towards the northeast there in that shop here in Tulsa. Again, we have some clouds that are still kind of hanging around, but otherwise uh, it just maybe some light rainfall. We'll get another round of rain, though, that'll come through. Here's what it looks like as far as the uh, rain that has come down here in the past 24 hours. Uh, not quite half an inch in Oak Mulgee or here in Tulsa. We expect to see more on top of that as these showers continue to roll through. In fact, we have a flash flood watch that's in effect until 4 o'clock this evening uh, as we're expecting some of these showers and storms to move kind of slowly through the area as they pop up and you, again have some pretty heavy rainfall with that at times. Temperatures right now 73 degrees. Today, this is what our future track looks like. Scattered showers expected to hold on through the morning hours, kind of hit and miss there through lunchtime into the early afternoon. They'll slowly start to taper. We will then be left with mostly cloudy skies. So with the clouds and rain, it keeps those temps down as it always does. You're only going to see highs in the upper 70s to low 80s. We may not even hit 82 here today. It kind of depends on how much of a break we get from the clouds and rain. Then overnight tonight, few showers off to our west, but things look pretty quiet for us as we head into the early morning hours of Wednesday. There is a chance for rain tomorrow, uh, but uh, again, we're looking at a better chance really for today, I, I guess I should say with that. Highs tomorrow will be a little bit warmer with breaks of, uh, of some sunshine, peaks of sunshine throughout the day on Wednesday. We're going to see those highs up to about 87. All right, so for today, 70 to 80 percent chance for rain. Tomorrow backs down to about 40 percent chance there. Today's definitely our best chance here on the seven day planner. Then we start to see those temperatures still kind of teetering in the mid to upper 80s as we head through the week. Going into the weekend, look for mid 80s. Chance for rain Saturday starts to dry out a bit as we head into Sunday and Monday. Corey,